Nate, this game, do you feel like it reflected how well you played, or was it just the Knicks being an undermanned team and didn't have anything going? Well, we got a game to play, and, uh, you know, we've been in situations where teams where we haven't been healthy, and you still have to play the game. Uh, and, it, you know, it was about us tonight, uh, you know, coming out and trying to take care of business, uh, playing a better game uh, than certainly we played in New York, but a uh, better game than our last two opponents. And I thought tonight we had energy on the defensive end of the floor. Uh, you know, we were scrapping. We was challenging every pass. Uh, offensively, we got our running game going and was able to uh, really just attack. And uh, I thought we kept pressure on New York with uh, both groups, the first and second group. Balanced scoring, does that reflect good offense, ball movement? Yeah, no, no question about it. Uh, you know, we talk about that, and, you know, sometimes uh, the ball starts sticking and we, you know, are out there dribbling a little too much. But I thought tonight, uh, for the most part, we did a good job of uh, moving the ball. And, uh, you know, you end up with 28 assists. Everybody gets involved that way. When guys are open... Uh, we talk about giving up the ball, and uh, tonight we did that. In games like this, is it hard for a coach to know when to start pulling starters and putting in bench people? It's got to be tempting when you're up 38, but at the same time, you've probably experienced some disasters too. So. Yeah, it is. Uh, we, the, the coaching staff and I was just talking about that. You know, um, you know, the, the, you're up, you know, 25, 30 with about seven, eight minutes to go, and you really don't want to go back with your starters, but. You know, you have to, uh, you know, try to put that game away. And I thought our guys came in. Uh, TJ played a lot of minutes in that fourth quarter, so we wanted to give him a break uh, and just slowly started to get some of our guys out. But, uh, yeah, it is. You know, the, the bottom line is you have to win that game. And, um, you know, sometimes I've seen coaches go back with their first group, uh, you know, to work on some things. And uh, you, we was able to uh, put our guys in and let Lance and – Corey and uh, Domas uh, really play that entire fourth quarter. Nate, talk to us about the energy that Lance plays with. Uh, he seems to get the crowd going, and he feeds off of that. But he did very well tonight in just keeping the energy uh, going at the Knicks. Talk to us about that. Well, you know, there's, there's a fine line there, you know, uh, in respecting the game. And uh, we, want, we always want to respect the game in how we play it. I want guys to have fun, uh, but, you know, showboating and and those types of things, uh, respect the game, play the game the right way. Uh, and, you know, we'll be okay with that. You know, he's a very emotional player, and when, you know, he gets going, uh, he does some good things uh, for us. And uh, he made a couple good plays, um, you know, for us. But, uh, you, know, you know, we've talked about that uh, as, a, as a team, uh, we play the game the right way, and uh, we show respect to that game while we're out there. Nate, you mentioned the assists. You had 28 assists on 40 field goals at 70% ratio. Every one of your wins this year, you've been over 50% assist to field goals. It's kind of basketball 101, but do you have a ratio you want to see this team hit? Do you have a certain amount of assists you want to see this team hit? on a game Yeah, our night? goal is 25 or more assists. You know, that's what we talked about. Uh, the beginning of the season, and uh, I feel like if we're getting, you know, 25-plus assists, we've been over that a, a few times uh, this season, uh, it's, gonna, it's hard to defend that, that type of ball movement. And, um, you know, when, when guys are open, as I've, you know, said and we've talked about, if a guy's open and you're running the play, he's open 100 times, you pass the ball 100 times. Uh, and uh, I think for the most part this season, we've been pretty consistent at that. We've had a few games where uh, we didn't give up the ball. Uh, the ball kind of stuck. We, I thought we you know, kind of uh, went off on our own in some, some games and went a little isolation basketball. But our goal is 25 or more assists. Do you think it's been easier this season for Thad Young? With the spacing that you've had, does it make him a better offensive player to be able to cut to the basket a little easier maybe than last year? Um, is that something that's been big for him this season? Well, I think the challenge with that is was last year we had guys we had to call their numbers, you know. So we were calling Paul's number, Monte's number, uh, you know, Miles, 
you know, getting Stucky, you know, getting guys like that involved. And Thad was, you know, the one guy that, uh, you know, we didn't, I didn't really call his number a lot. And uh, really, I thought it helped because it wasn't, he doesn't play uh, the game. It, he doesn't stop playing if he doesn't get the ball. You know, he plays off of guys. He plays off of uh, players, and uh, that's what he's doing right now. But w because of all the ball movement that we have and the spacing in our offense, uh, he's getting more attempts, more opportunities uh, this year. But, you know, he, he pretty much played uh, last se playing this season like he did last year, plays off the ball. We don't call a lot of plays. He just randomly gets and finds himself in the right uh, place. And uh, he's been doing good things with it. Um, this game did allow you to play T.J. Leaf some minutes, which has been difficult lately. You know, didn't shoot well. But what have you seen from him to this point? What are your expectations this season? Well, you know, just the, the really the last week or so, I, I've just you know talked with the coaching staff about. Uh, I went to I went to an eight man rotation for about four or five games. And I felt like uh, I was really uh, putting a lot of minutes on eight guys. And uh, I had, you know, I just felt I needed to go back to a nine-man rotation uh, and get TJ at least five, 10, 15 minutes if possible because we just, if I just felt like if I could continue to play an eight-man rotation by February, our guys would be uh, tired. Uh, and I'm starting to see some of that. So... The thing is to get him some minutes. Get him. Try to get him 10, 15 minutes, and uh, just let him let him play. You know, there's, uh, you know, he's going to make some mistakes out there. He has to learn, but uh, just let him play. Don't put any pressure on him about, you know, uh, you know, really what you want to see other than, uh, you know, grow with us. You know, defensively, he's having to guard some spread fours tonight. We had him on a three, McDermott. And that was a challenge to see him chase McDermott, uh, rebound the ball, all the things that we need for him to do at that four position. So, you know, this this season uh, for, for TJ is just the minutes that he gets, go out there and play, have some fun, and, and try to learn. Do you plan to keep him in the rotation? I do plan to try to keep him in the rotation, uh, you know, giving him between, you know, hopefully 10 if I can, 15 minutes, but uh, I, I just I, I have to get to uh, a nine-man rotation. Eight is putting a lot of minutes on um, our guys. Why did he go to eight? Just to win? <laughs> well, we matchups. You know, uh, I didn't like some of the matchups that we were uh, teams that we were playing. Uh, TJ having the guard spread fours. I think it started with the Miami game. And uh, Johnson down there at the spread for handling. Uh, I think we went to De uh, Detroit was after that, and Harris was at the four. So it was matchups that uh, I didn't like, and uh, we didn't want to put him out there for that. How do you plan to carry this energy into one Wednesday's matchup with Chicago? Well, we want to build off of it. Uh, you know, we, we certainly felt that we we – we got energy tonight for 48 minutes uh, after dropping two games. And, uh, you know, Chicago is coming into the building. They are part of this uh, six-game home stand, And uh, we want to carry over uh, this energy to that game. You know, we, we can't be and we won't be focusing on a team's record. You know, just like tonight, we can't uh, focus on who they didn't have. We got to play the game, play the game the right way and, uh, you know, try to take advantage of this home stretch of games. The team came out with a high intensity in the first quarter. Is the first quarter something uh, you guys are kind of looking at to make sure you guys come out and take that lead? Well, we want we, – we, you know, I put on the board every game, establish tempo and establish the Pacers' tempo. Uh, so there's a, there's a certain uh, aggressiveness, uh, speed, that we want to come out with. And uh, really it starts on the defensive end of the floor, getting stops, rebounding the ball so that we can get out and establish the tempo we want to play at. So, yes, it's very important, uh, the start of the game, that we establish the tempo 
uh, that we want to play in. Uh, Coach, when Miles Turner wasn't in the game, the Knicks saw more success in the post. Uh, so in the future, when Miles isn't in the game, how, are, how do you plan to contest teams with multiple talented bigs like the Knicks with Cantor and uh, Hernan Gomez? Well, we, Domas does a good job in, in that situation, and uh, I think what they were hurting us was offensive rebounds. It wasn't so much them posting up. Uh, they were penetrating and they were rolling to the basket. I think they had, what, uh, 15 offensive rebounds. That is uh, something that our guards have to do a better job coming down, helping smash uh, those bigs. They are a really good uh, offensive rebounding team, very physical uh, with Cantor uh, being in there. Porzingis, when he's in there, he's long. Uh, you know, So that was one of the keys tonight is to uh, rebound the ball, and uh, they they did hurt us there. Coach, obviously a game like tonight is going to allow more guys to be be able to be involved offensively at seven and double figures. You guys average six guys in double figures for the season. How much do you think that plays into your guys' success so far? I think it's, it's a big part of it. Uh, when you're sharing the ball and moving the ball, uh, when guys are open, Everybody gets involved. That's very difficult difficult to defend, uh, good ball movement like that. And, um, you know, the random play that we're playing, it's very hard to scout that. You know, a lot of what you see out there with these guys is just playing off of each other, and they're not so much set plays. It's just random play and reads. And when people are open, you get them the ball. And, you know, when you're, when you're playing the game that way, it's like practice, you know. You're you're shooting open shots, like a coach is passing it to you, uh, when you're moving the ball and playing unselfishly, uh, like that. And a number of guys are going to uh, have opportunities to uh, to shoot and score. Without Porzingis, uh, the Pacers still allowed the Knicks to get 54 points in the paint and 15 second chance points. Are there any aspects? you guys are going to take away from this game to build on for the rest well, of the season? You know, going into this game, you know, we've uh, been talking about and uh, really uh, working on defending the paint. You know, they had 30 points at the half uh, in the paint. And, uh, you know, we just gave up. We just came off of a game where a team scored 70 points in the paint. So defending the paint, controlling the ball is the key to any defense. And, uh, you know, that's something that we are working on. We have to continue to work on, and we certainly got to get better uh, controlling the ball, keeping that ball in front. Uh, and when if when you don't, you give up big points in the paint. You give up offensive rebounding opportunities. You give up uh, three-point opportunities. So it starts with controlling the basketball.